Hey guys, could you here and today I have another Camtasia Studio tutorial for you guys. Today I'm just going to be showing you my settings of Camtasia Studio and since I switched over from Cam Studio. Now this is a much more packed uh, screen recorder and it can edit out your videos for you. Very similar interface to uh, uh, Windows Movie Maker if you're familiar with that. You know, you have three panes, you have your preview pane, you have your, you know, things right here. Very, very similar and you can even go into storyboard board view. So. Let's just show you uh, what I do. So first off, I'm using the screen recorder, so I can't show you the actual, uh, you know, my options for the screen recorder. But that's really just set to 30 frames per second manual recording um, using the Camtasia codec. I haven't really messed around with the codec. I just put it at highest quality compression, so I get you know a decent sized file, but really good quality. Um, now, if I want, it, I save it as AVI. If I want to go straight to YouTube, if I want to upload it and make it an HD video, I save it as a Camrec. That's a project file, and then I put it into Camtasia and edit it out. You can drag an AVI into Camtasia Studio, but um, I found out that AVI when I drag AVI in, I usually don't get a good uh, HD video, or sometimes it doesn't work for me. So that's just me. But okay, so first off, you're gonna want to make your preset. So how you're gonna do this is you're gonna go to Batch Production, Add Files for Projects. And you're going to want to find whatever video you want to make HD. Again, I recommend using Camrec files to do the HD. So save as Camrec if you're planning on editing out to an HD video. So, uh, sorry, I don't even know why it's taking a while here to load. So you're going to get your video that you want. I'm just going to use this iTunes AVI video. Again, it doesn't. I recommend Camrec. But you're going to want to click Preset Manager. And I already have my preset here. It's YouTube HD. You're just going to hit New. And then this is my settings. Okay, so I just put your description there. I like to do MOV because it's really good quality, but a good uh, at a good uh, what do you call that size? Very very good size. Okay, so now you hit next. Now you're gonna want to mix with the QuickTime options. Now, if you render this out at first with MOV and it doesn't work, if you want a small file with a good size, I'd recommend WMV. But MOV I think is the best quality. And if it doesn't work when you're using MOV, uh, it's probably because you haven't. One, update your QuickTime, or you don't have QuickTime at all. Actually, if you don't have QuickTime, it won't even let you render it out as an MOV. So make sure you have QuickTime, and just make sure you set the settings as I do. Okay, so uh, get QuickTime options, and we're going to go to settings here. Now, first off, the settings... Okay, one second, let me load here. Settings uh, codec is going to be... We're going to be using H.264, which is a really, really, really good uh, quality codex so we're just gonna let this open here sorry it's gonna take a sec I don't know why it's taking so long okay so here it is uh, again compression type h.264 uh, frame rates I had to set mine to 50 uh, but 30 I think should work if not try bumping it up to 50 make sure that's automatic but 30 should work cause that's standard you're gonna set this to best uh, faster if you want to you know better encode quick encode or not too quick but you know faster than uh, Normal or not? <laughs> if you just want a good normal encoding, use uh, single pass. Multi pass is gonna take longer to you know render the whole video, but it's gonna be really good quality. Okay, now just set that to automatic, and we're gonna hit OK here. Okay, so we got that set. Now we are gonna want to go into uh, size. This is a really important one, so pay attention here. So set this to 1280 by 720 HD, not NTSC. 1280 by 720 HD. This will also help you fill in the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And you can mess around with the other settings if you want. Okay. Um, filter. Oh, let me check if there's anything here you really need to mess with. I doubt it. Yeah, those are just some additional things you really don't have to even touch. Okay, and you can just mess around with your sound. I like recording mine at MPEG 4 audio um, or PCM. They're both very good quality. Uh, around 44 kilohertz, uh, sample size 16 in one channel, and just set that as okay. And then after that, you're just really uh, from there. After you get all these settings right, you're pretty much good to render. So we're gonna go to next. And you know, custom. Oh, okay, here's an important one. When you selecting this, you want to select custom size and set it to 1280 by 720. Now. Ideally, when you record, obviously, you want to be recording at 1280 by 720 to get the best, uh, best quality because you don't want it to, uh, you know, kind of stretch the pixels out or put pixels aren't even there. Now, if you're recording full screen, you may want to set this to whatever size your screen is just so, you know, it won't, you know, stretch it out or, and it'll still be HD for the most part. It'll just render it out as a 1280 by 720. Okay, so after you get everything situated, hit next, add your watermark, hit finish, and it'll start rendering, guys. So those are my settings for Camtasia. 
Uh, again, just record it at 1280 by 720. That's what I really recommend. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and my settings. Uh, remember, just I'll uh, put all those in the description box to the right of the video. Don't forget to check out the site at adrianstech.com. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash kidguru or on friendfeed, friendfeed.com slash kidguru. And, of course, email us at adrianstech at gmail.com with any questions, concerns, sponsorship, uh, or just video requests. Thanks for listening, guys.